The key points you should know about your gut. As a rule of thumb from our John's Alvin Research Center channel, everyone should adopt the basic rule to always keep in close contact with your family doctor or physician to guide with the most appropriate and best medical advice from their years of medical expertise and experience. If you have well protected and ensured your gut or gastrointestinal health, then you may work towards improving your overall health. Another most important fact is that 70 to 80 percent of your immune cells are located in your gut. As such any damage or dysfunctional elements to the gut could cause serious consequences to your life. The harmonious interaction between intestinal microbiota, intestinal epithelial layer, local mucosal immune system, currently at John's Alvin Research Center, in collaboration with past input from AGIT Gifted Institute of Technology. Research is in progress to link gut microbiome to systemic immunity. There will be a point in the future where clinicians may have accessible medical protocols. Explaining the unique relationship between human immune system, gut microbiome and pathogens. This established the importance of correct nutrition and inclusion of inulin in daily diet. As mentioned earlier in episode 3 of the Anti-Aging Longevity series in John's Alvin Research Center channel, to achieve balanced gut microbiota in attaining the ideal immune system and overall health. As it breaks down the foods we eat, our gut absorbs nutrients that support our body's functions, from energy production to hormone balance, skin health to mental health, and even toxin and waste elimination. In fact, about 70 to 80% of the immune system is housed in the gut. So knowing the key points about our digestive system to ensure it is in good health condition. 1. Is your bowel movement in good order? Normal bowel clearance is anywhere from 3 times a week to 3 times a day. While each gut is different, a healthy gut often has a pattern. To put the timing in perspective, it generally takes 24 to 72 hours for your food to move through your digestive tract. Food doesn't arrive in your large intestine colon, until after 6 to 8 hours, so hitting up the toilet happens after that. So don't scare yourself into sitting on the toilet waiting for the drop, as this can lead to hemorrhoids. If your schedule is off, it could be constipation. Constipation has many causes. From dehydration or low fiber to thyroid issues, but your best bet is to check your diet first. Make sure you're drinking enough water and include a variety of fruits and vegetables in your diet, too. Processed foods are not advisable for your gut since inflammation can be triggered. Processed foods can cause inflammation in the lining of our GI tract, the exact place where food is absorbed. Your gut may not recognize what you've eaten as digestible food and instead interprets the presence of foods like high fructose corn syrup or artificial ingredients as an attacker. This sets off an inflammatory response in which our bodies are literally fighting these foods as if they were an infection. Sticking to more whole foods such as whole fruits, veggies and unprocessed meats can lower the stress this creates on your body. 3. Try to minimize gluten consumption. There is evidence from a trusted source that gluten increases intestinal permeability, which is also referred to as leaky gut, even if you don't have celiac disease. This means that particles like undigested food and waste, and pathogens like bacteria, can pass through the compromised lining of your intestines, get into the bloodstream, and cause overall inflammation and illness. The best way to see if gluten is a no-go is to eliminate gluten completely for at least four weeks and see what your gut says when you try it again. Always be sure to read labels and ingredient lists. Wheat can be found in a lot of unsuspecting foods in the form of binders and fillers, such as in chewing gum, salad dressing, potato chips, spices, and more. An extended period of eliminating gluten can reduce the body's enzymes that break down gluten and other grains. This can contribute to more symptoms when reintroducing it later. 4. Importance of including prebiotics. If you've recently taken antibiotics, you'll need to help your gut to make new friends again. Antibiotics wipe out all bacteria 
including the good ones known as probiotics, such as Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium, prebiotics, like onions, garlic, asparagus, bananas, and legumes, play a different role from probiotics. They are dietary fibers that feed the good bacteria to your gut, helping to re-inoculate your microbiome and offset the effects of your altered gut flora. Birth control pills may also alter your gut environment as well. 5. Try to include sauerkraut in your diet. Along with prebiotics, your gut needs a healthy dose of probiotics to keep your body system strong. Fermented foods like kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, and tempeh, and beverages like kefi and kombucha, have lip cultures that help your gut break down foods and improve your immune system. If you don't already consume fermented foods, start off with one quarter cup at a time and work your way up to large amounts. Diving right in with a bigger serving may cause digestive upset. 6. Feeling down and depressed could be due to indigestion of your food. When our digestion is compromised, our bodies can underproduce neurotransmitters, like serotonin. 95% of serotonin is produced in the small intestine. Low serotonin is attributed to anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues. It may not be the case for every person with these issues, but cleaning up your diet may relieve brain fog, sadness, and low energy. 7. Get enough sleep. Don't feel guilty for skipping brunch to get an extra hour under the covers. Especially if you haven't been sleeping right during the week. Researchers are still looking into the gut-sleep relationship to verify if improving your gut health will affect sleep, but there's definitely a connection between poor sleep and the bacterial environment of your gut. Getting enough sleep helps lower cortisol levels and allows time for the gut to repair itself. So slide your sleep mask back down over your eyes and embrace your next late morning. 8. Eat slowly and chew patiently. Taking time to chew your food actually helps jumpstart the digestive process. As you break down your food into smaller pieces with your teeth and stimulate saliva production, you also signal to the rest of your body that it's time for the digestive system to get to work. 9. Relax your mind to reset your gut. The more relaxed you are, the better you'll be able to nourish your body. And we're not just talking about digestion. Stress can change your gut turning it into a butterfly cage of discomfort. Research shows that taking the time to meditate can help ease symptoms of gut disorders. For an extra mindful boost, learn which specific probiotic strain is right for your mood.